few years ago we developed a simple method which is especially useful for helping early diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis. The method was published in the Journal of Rheumatology in 1990. It is a well-known fact that one of the earliest physical signs of ankylosing spondylitis is symmetrical restriction of lateral flexion of the spine. Since disease occurs most frequently among young male adults, therefore we examine many healthy young male adults in the following way. Please stand here against the wall so that your back and head touches it. Please hold your body and arms as a soldier at attention. Now I'll draw a mark on the thigh at the end of the longest finger. This is of course the third finger. Now please slide your right hand down on your thigh as much as you can, keeping your back and head in contact with the wall. At the end of the movement, I drew another mark on the thigh. Please stand again in the position of attention. Now please slide your left hand down on your thigh as much as you can, keeping your back and head in contact with the wall. Now I measure the distance between the two marks on both thighs. We found that for healthy males in their 20s, this distance is at least 10% of their body height. If this distance turns out to be less, then the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis is more likely.